gonna I'm gonna show you the Turkish getup. Uh, before we start with the getup, I'll show you how to switch sides. So if you're on the right hand side, like this, and you want to uh, switch for doing the getup with the left hand, I always use a halo. So my hand is going outside of the handle. Then bring your thumb, only your thumb on the inside. Second hand as well, thumb on the inside like this. So grip the handle. From here I can start making the halo. We're gonna use the legs and the arms at the same time. So I'll start with my left leg and then the body will follow. So I go one, start moving the bell, two, three, four, like this. Now I go back so I can practice the exercise. Like this. So I can start my get up from here. When I'm done, I switch using the halo. And now I can start my get up from the other side. All right, so uh, now we're going to look at the actual get up and we're going to go through it step by step. <clears throat> so we start in the bottom position on my side. My, uh, my legs here are in flex position. My arm is close to my body. I'm going to grab four fingers inside and I'm going to grab uh, with my thumb around the corner of the bell here. So I'm going to make a grip and I want to try to keep a straight wrist. So I'm going to um, try to get, keep a straight wrist. So what I don't want to do, big mistake, is if you grab the handle like this in the middle and then the, the, the wrist is going to flex. So try to grab at the corner here, okay? So keep it close. My secondary hand is like a seat belt for safety. If the bell gets heavier, use your hand for safety to make sure you prevent from injuring yourself. Then we're going to do the roll to the press. So I'm going to swing my top leg back. I'm going to use my secondary arm to pull the bell towards me and I will go on my back like this. Okay, so the side of the bell, my foot is on the mat with a flexed knee. And then from here, we're going to press up and I'm going to try to um, activate my lat so my shoulder is in a stable position. So when I press here, I want my lat to be engaged. So what you don't want to see is your, your shoulder being up here close to your neck. Then your lat is not really doing anything. This can be uh, like a bad spot for your shoulder. So activate the lat when you do the press. Then when we go down, we go back with the secondary arm and stay close to the body and get back to the uh, previous position. So at the same time when you do the press, you can try to put the right foot in the mat. So push it into the ground so you, you use more muscles and you get stronger. And you get a nice solid press. So again, I circle and I press. Okay, try to push the foot in the mat and try to extend this leg uh, as well so you have more uh, muscles contracting at the same time. Once you go back, seat belt close to the body, go to the side. Then the last thing is the breath. Try to use your breath to, to, to brace. So I breathe in and then when I press, I, I breathe out forcefully. Okay, activate the lat and keep a nice and straight wrist. That's step one. All right, the next step, after you did the roll through the press, we're going to post on the elbow and then on the hand. So we start the same way. Make sure you have the nice and straight wrist close to the body with your elbow. Roll to press, activate the lat, use your breath, especially when the weight is heavy to pressurize your abdomen. Then from here, we're going to go up on the elbow. So a few things. Um, I want to keep looking at the bell all the way up. Um, I'm going to push the bell up, but I'm also going to push with my right foot in the ground so I can roll my hip towards the side. And then at the same time, I try to uh, sort of pull my elbow into the mat. So I try to activate my lap here as well as I push the weight up. So it's going to be a push and a pull on the left side. And I'm also going to drive with my right foot. Then uh, try to, if you can, keep tension in the left leg as well. So don't keep it loose. And if you can, try to keep it on the ground. 
So what we don't want to do is come up like this. I have everything collapsing, so flexing my spine, collapsing my knee inside, lifting my leg. What we do want to do is breathe pressure and try to engage everything, okay? From here, always check your posture. Make sure your shoulder is not here close to the neck, but pull down with your lap. Keep your knee out, so don't have your knee down here. And same for the shoulder on the bottom. Don't have your shoulder here, but pull the shoulder blades down using your lats, okay? From here, we can continue going to the hand post. So now uh, I'm posting on my elbow and I'm going further up on my hand. Same idea, keep the shoulders down using the lats, keep the knee out, keep the left leg straight and try to, um, how should I say this? The left hand here, try to corkscrew my arm like this so that I have a nice solid frame here. So I don't want to be like this, I want to externally rotate the shoulder and pull the shoulder blade down with the lap so I have a nice and solid base from here okay show you guys one more time with the weight so from here second breath like this and then you can go down I can pose on my elbow I like to point the thumb up and slide the hand down and then second arm comes here seat belt and you're back at the bottom okay guys next step in the get up uh, after we have the post on the hand here we're going to go for a bridge um, that's not necessarily a part that people always do in a Turkish get up you can skip that step and go straight to the knee post I like to do it um, to uh, yeah, make the exercise a little longer, a little more challenging, but also I'm gonna use my glutes here and I'm gonna nicely extend my hips. I like to work on some hip extension and for example, jujitsu, you're a lot of times in these flex positions. So I like to uh, use some extension in my, my strength training. So I'll show you the steps. So roll. I press, keep the lat engaged, straight wrist, breathe in, pressurize the abdomen, push and pull, okay? Go on to the hand, make sure you corkscrew, shoulders down, look at the belt. From here, we're going to keep the right foot flat, left foot on the heel, leg extended on the left. I'm going to make a bridge and try to stay nice and controlled here. So from here, I can go down and work my way down like we did before or I can continue to the next step so from here I'm gonna put my knee underneath my hip so first practice this step then from the knee post go back to the bridge sit down elbow Slide back down, seat belt, arm, and you're down again. Okay, so when it comes to the bridge, so I'm here. You can make this um, more difficult by uh, making your base more narrow. So my left leg can go more closer to my right. Now it gets a little harder. Huh? If you use heavy weight, make sure you have a wide base so you're more stable, okay? So like this, knee underneath the hip. Make sure you put the toes on the mat. I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people making the mistake. They are in the bridge, they step back, make the knee post, and then they don't put the toes on the mat, they put the instep on the mat. Now I cannot use this leg properly when I go for my next step, okay? So make sure you learn straight away putting the toes on the mat, okay? So, show you one more time. If you go down, one more detail. If you go down, my right foot stays flat. 
So I want to have a good base. That's why I keep my heel on the mat. A lot of people, sometimes they go uh, up and then lift the heel. Don't do that. When you go down, I sit towards my leg, but I want to be able to keep the heel on the mat, okay? So don't, don't do something like this here, where you lift, lift the toe like that, or maybe you have it flat and then you go down and then you lift it, don't do that, okay? Use your heel on the mat, nice and stable. Okay, the next step guys, um, we're going to make a hip extension uh, from the knee posting position. So I'll show you, we are going to do the whole sequence, use the breath, activate your lats, make the bridge, get yourself in the knee post position. My hip is moved backwards, my toes are on the mat here on the left side. So now I'm going to extend my hip, drive my hip forward and boom, make a hip extension. So my glutes working here. So from this position, I prefer to step my leg inside and get into a nice stable lunge position with the knee on the ground. Okay, from here, I open back, put my hand on the hip, then my hip slides back towards my heel and my hand glides down my leg and I find the ground. Then I put my weight on my hand so I can move my leg again, go back to the bridge, sit down, elbow back, seat belt, and we're down, okay? So let's take a look at that real quick again. Thing is here, when I have the bridge here, I'm going to bring my knee underneath my hip I want to move my hip back towards my heel. So I have a flexed hip here, which I can extend. If I can extend my hip, I will get nice and straight using my glute. So I'm not using my back or anything like that, okay? At this point, I'm still looking at the weight, at the bell that I'm holding, and I'm still engaging my lats. So I have a nice stable shoulder position. From this point on, when I get up and I make my hip extension, I'm going to start looking ahead. So my, my, the thing that I try to do here is I try to keep my arm next to my ear. So I'm not looking at the bell anymore from this point on, okay? Then I like to step my leg in like this, and from here we can continue. Next step, going back down is opening back up, hand to the hip, Push the hip back towards the heel. And now a key detail here is that I want my hand to place in front of my knee here. So if I would draw a line here, then my toes, my knee and my hand would be on the same line. Big mistake I see often is people go to the side here. So now I don't have the nice hip flexion that I had before, but I have like a lateral flexion of the spine here which is not so great with heavy weight on top here, okay? And also again, if I'm here and I wanna make an extension now, it's not gonna be from my hip, it's gonna be from different, all sorts of different places. So it's gonna be way harder, okay? So what I wanna do, I wanna move my hip back towards my heel, then I can rotate my trunk, looking at the bell again from that point going down, so I can keep a nice and straight spine and I hinge at the hip. So like this, yeah, instead of the big mistake, I like this, it just doesn't feel right. You can feel it straight away here in your back. So pay attention to this part. Then I can drive my weight forward on the hand so I can lift my leg again, go back to the bridge and then finish the whole sequence, okay? I'll show you one more time with the weight. Okay guys, the last part of the get up uh, is when you're in a kneeling lunge position, you just have to stand up and then we can do the whole sequence going back down. So start from the bottom and build up. So So 
So get nice and stable here. Try to imagine two tracks. My toes on the back are on the mat. My right leg in this case is underneath my knee. So not too far ahead, not too close, it's less stable. And then from here, a big breath. In through the nose, pressure the abdomen, squeeze the hands, shoulder blades down and then drive up and put your feet next to each other, uh, like hip width apart. Keep contracting your glutes, belly button in, so you don't stretch your low back too much and try to keep the arm straight and the arm beside your ear. From here, big breath again, step back, feel the ground first. And then from here, slowly descend on your knee then my version, open the leg, touch the hip, push it back, rotate the spine, look at the bell, put the hand on the mat, bring your weight on your hand, so you can move your leg, and then you can slowly descend down. All right, one more time. thing I want to show you guys it's like uh, my version of the get up is where I'm on the knee I extend I bring my leg in and out okay so the traditional way is where people uh, windscreen wipe the knee and then get up and down you of course you can do that but depending on the surface that you're training or your knees you might not really like that. So my preference doesn't have the windscreen wiper. I like to close and open my leg to do the get. Okay guys, 